Golden State Warriors star forward Draymond Green is trending today after he was ejected less than two minutes into a game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Started with a scuffle between two other players, but very quickly escalated as more people got involved. Green's behavior especially is being criticized after he put Timberwolves center Rudy Gobert in a chokehold. Manisa Danabalan joining us live with more. Manisa, are, are people surprised with Green's conduct? I mean, he does have a history of this kind of stuff. Matt, there really is no surprise because in just this season alone, this is his second ejection. And when we count how many times he's been ejected over the course of his 12-year career, we're on number 18. Looking on Wiggins, and we'll step back three. And so we're scoreless. We'll stay 0-0 the first two minutes. And then look, look at Clay Thompson, Thompson and Daniels. Daniels. What is going on with that? Wow. Hey, you've got a full-on fracas going on. Raymond came in to defend Clay. This, this got out of hand very quickly. Look at, look at Clay Thompson's jersey. It's ripped up. It all started when Golden State's Clay Thompson and Minnesota's Jaden McDaniels got into a scuffle near midcourt following a Timberwolves possession. McDaniels swung Thompson around and ended up tearing his jersey. Then Rudy Gobert entered, and seconds later, Draymond Green rushed in and pulled Gobert away from behind with his arm around his neck. Green, McDaniels, and Thompson were all ejected from the game. Green wasn't even involved in the initial scuffle, but many say he took it as an opportunity to go at Gobert, considering the two have had issues in the past. After the game, Gobert said he knew Green would do something to avoid playing without Steph Curry, who was out because of a knee injury. Yeah, we know Steph doesn't play. Um, you know, he gets, he gets a little bit of uh, he's, he's, uh, Warriors head coach Steve Kerr tried to justify Green's behavior after the game. Rudy had his uh, hands on Clay's neck, and that's why Draymond went after Rudy. Rudy. Anybody was involved. Rudy didn't have him around the neck either. He had him around the, around the waist area. That was well, not the waist. He had an arm up there no, around no, the no, But neck. he wasn't like this, but his arm was up yeah, there. Okay, area. well, don't compare what Draymond well, did. Not... Earlier this year, Green was ejected and suspended in a game against the Sacramento Kings for stepping on DeMantis Sabonis. Green argued that Sabonis started it by grabbing his leg, but many say Green stepping on him went too far. He's been involved in a number of other scuffles with other players, like Bradley Beal and LeBron James. Last year, Green was ejected in a game against the Memphis Grizzlies after he grabbed Brandon Clark by the jersey while he was mid-air and pulled him to the ground. Uh, admittedly, there is, you know, uh, Draymond has a reputation. That's a totally different story. Admittedly, uh, Draymond Green pushes the envelope too far. That's a different story. But he's had his fair share of suspensions. He's had his fair share of fines. So, so I don't think the league is being soft on him. Even the big fight that was last night, he didn't start that fight. I think that the league is now probably going to be forced that if they've been a little bit lenient, you know, that he is one of the star players of the league and that he's a critical part of the Warriors team, that you'll now see that Adam Silver has got to probably draw a line in the sand and make a point that this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. According to reports, the NBA is looking into the scuffle and a ruling is expected before tomorrow's Golden State Warriors game. Something Green will get at least a 10-game suspension.